it's Mary. How are you doing today? I am going to be talking to you today about how to make a ballet bar for your little ballerina. My daughter is five years old. She just started dance and she really likes ballet. And I want her to be able to practice at home because, you know, that one hour a week is not going to get her where she needs to be. So I help facilitate her uh, further learning by practicing with her at home. And I thought, you know, we've been using the kitchen table chairs and balancing on that. But I thought, you know, what would be a great idea is if I built her a ballet bar. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I went to Home Depot and I purchased some PVC pipe along with the uh, elbows and the um, tees. And uh, we're going to be building a ballet bar. I'm going to feature all the information in the links below so that you will know how to do it for your daughter or teen daughter. Uh, the height adjusts to however old. This one can work for a teen or a child because um, the height is also for me as well. I do bar workouts, so I need a bar. So it's multifunctional and it's a cute little project that you can do. And it was only $20 with everything um, that I bought to uh, create this. And they actually cut the PVC pipe at Home Depot, if you ask really nice, <laughs> they'll do it for you. Um, so anyways, without further ado, let's get started. Hey guys, it's Mary and I'm back. I'm showing you the finished product. Um, this is what your bar will look like when it's completed, your ballet bar for your little girl once it's all done. I'm going to show you how to put together one side and then you just basically repeat that process to finish off the bar. Okay, let's get started. So um, I'm gonna show you one side already put together. Right here, you have a one inch elbow right here. This is an eight inch piece of the PVC pipe that was cut for me. This right here is a one inch T. Right here, this length is a 32 inch piece, okay? The T at the bottom of your bar, you're gonna have 18 inches over here, another 18 inches over here, and then you're going to have an elbow and an elbow. Everything is one inches except for the caps. Those are a one and a quarter inch. And you put those on the bottom of these and you have to fix them with glue. So let's build the other half of this. Hey guys, I'm back. As you can see, we got the first half started. We have the one side ready to go. These two middle pieces are 48 inches each. And um, once we attach the other, you'll be able to see it. So let's put together one side and you'll just repeat this process to make both sides. What you're going to do is you'll start off with your 32 inch piece of PVC pipe. Okay. I'm going to add a T right here. This is going to attach the middle bar to it. Okay. Then what we'll do, take an eight inch piece and we'll put that in there. You wanna make sure you got it in there. Push it in there really good. You're gonna attach a one inch elbow and you want it to face the same direction as this. So you want them to face and press down so it really sticks. Um, the next thing you're gonna do now that we got this together, we're going to work on the bottom of it. So from the bottom of this, we're going to attach a one inch T. Okay. Attach the one inch T and you want to make sure that it's facing the opposite direction of these. Okay. See like that. So then let me flip it upside down so you can see. Then we'll take one piece of the 18 inch. Okay, we'll shove it into this side of the T. Okay, we'll take the other end of the 18 inch and shove it into this side of the T. Okay, then you're going to take another elbow, attach it. Okay, push it in there. Use those muscles. <laughs> take another elbow, attach that in there. There we go. And then at this point, if you have your glue 
inside the cap, then you would place the caps right on there. See, the caps, these are uh, one and a quarter inch caps, okay? And you place those right on there. But you gotta, to make sure that they don't come off, because they come off really easy, you have got to use glue, ladies. But anyways, just to show you the finished product, we're gonna take it, walk it over here, okay? We'll take our two 48 inch pieces of PVC piping and we'll shove it into this T, twist it so that it's in the right direction. I'm gonna push this in there good. Really put some muscle in there. Oh, you wanna, don't want it to fall apart, so you wanna make sure you really push that in there. Good. Okay, both sides. There we go. And then we got our one and a quarter inch caps. Put those on the bottom right here. And you just want to make sure that you uh, push in all the joints. Make sure that they're extra snug. And voila, you have a ballet bar for you and your daughter. Your daughter can work at this level and this height is for moms. So our, our women, it doesn't have to, you don't have to be a mom to uh, use a, a bar. And see, Ta -da! yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Make one for your little dancer or if you're into bar like I am and you uh, are working out with the bar workouts that are like all the craze right now, then uh, this this can also work for for you as well, especially when you're doing like your aerobesque lifts, doing your squats. This is perfect, or just to stretch out. So you can stretch on here too. So this is very very the one inch I thought was sturdy. Um, you could get a one and a half inch, but it's going to be more expensive. But that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye, ladies.